All right. Thank you to Mindy. I got a really cool video idea. And I'm going to go ahead and make this video. And if I don't like the sound quality, then I'm going to make it for my when the new video camera comes in. Okay. She recommended that I make a video for um, all my new subscribers. A little bit about me, where I'm from, and um, all that kind of good happy horse crap. I hope we'll she... Anywho. Uh, most of y'all know my name is Sunshine, and I run a crochet company. I recently added quilting to it. Um, I do custom orders on the crochet, and no custom orders on the quilts, because... Please don't take this wrong for any of y'all, but nobody's willing to pay what goes into these projects. And I know if I did a quilt that I would not get the money I need to cover it. Fabric is outrageous. Um, and our supplies are outrageous. And most of my blankets I'm selling for dirt cheap because nobody wants to pay for them. And it's kind of sad. You know, I'm not asking for a lot of money. I don't expect to make a big profit. But it would be nice to cover my supplies so I can keep carrying on. But anyway, I've kind of shut down my business and um, we just reopened. We're going to give it another try. And if nothing happens or I got to beg people to buy my stuff, then I'm going to call it quits again. Um, I just opened it because I have a whole bedroom full of crochet stuff that needs to find a home. But there's not any buyers, so I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, anyway, I was born in Dallas, and Wichita Falls, Texas is my home. I live in Haskell, Texas at the moment. It's 55 miles north of Abilene, and uh, I say and a lot. You'll notice that in a lot of my videos. Because, see, I can't process it fast enough. And I probably should write notes. Again, there's my note idea. Uh, I'm a down-home country girl. I'm easy going, laid back. Love the outdoors. Love hunting, fishing, camping, hiking. I love it all. I just love it out there. Uh, I would love to be able to just ride a horse all day and, and just forget about it. Uh, being in Texas, I love my sweet tea. This is what I drink all day long. Well, I drink this. I drink one of these. And then I chug Mountain Dew and Pepsi the rest of the day. Yeah. So. And y'all are thinking, oh my gosh, you gotta be having the sugar judders. Well, I'm hypoglycemic, which means my sugar is really low. So, I don't eat a lot. Um, I have malnutrition. And it makes me look like I'm pregnant. And you're wondering, well, how in the hell did you get malnutrition? Well, I take a medicine that doesn't make me hungry. And when I do eat, it makes me sick. So I didn't really eat. But I started to try to make myself eat. I'll make a little plate in the morning and graze on it all day long. So I still lost 70 pounds so far just by eating. I'm not taking any enhancers or anything. I can't. I've got a heart issue. And I can't take anything that'll accelerate my metabolism. So, anyway, was married eight years. I got married at 18, so a 36 year old man. I thought I loved. And I, we had some good times. We had two beautiful children Cody and Kendra. Just the greatest kids ever. My mom's taking care of them because I'm unstable at the moment. You know, I've I'm, I'm kind of been unstable. Um, my best friend's been taking care of me. And we just came in from Oklahoma for being there for five years because um, he's a truck driver. So I've been kind of bouncing around everywhere. So mom is making sure that they get on the right track. Mom, I appreciate you. I appreciate all you do. I can't thank you enough for taking in the kids. Um, and we got, I was divorced um, after eight years of marriage. And like I said, I live with my best friend. And we've been best friends for 12 years. Uh, we met on Yahoo in the BBW chat room 48. I don't think the chat rooms are even up anymore. I'm not sure. I haven't been on Yahoo in forever. Um, what else do y'all want to know? 
um, I do have my, I love my beard shirt. And yes, I wear that in public. <laughs> A lot of y'all have said I'm very frank or just upfront, and that's the way I am. Um, I'm very honest. I will tell you how the cat ate the cabbage, and I will not beat around that bush. And if that bothers you, I apologize, but that's who I am, and I'm not going to change anymore. Um, I've been abused for many years, and I'm coming back to my old self. And, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm figured, uh, you know, I, uh, am redoing myself, I guess you could say. Uh, the reason I started crocheting is because I am bipolar, I've got severe depression, and I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but from here to here, I used to cut open my arms because I was angry, and a lot of people were like, oh, you're doing it for attention. No, I would do it in secret and hiding, and I would try to cover it up because I was not proud of that. That's why I went to doing it on my leg. And I, I'm like, man, I've got to get myself together. I can't do this. I cannot do this. I work in a nursing environment. And somebody did see it one day. And I got in trouble. I almost lost my job. Um, and I thought, well, what am I going to do? I've got to do something different. I have to do something different. And crochet was always interesting. Nobody in my family did it. So one day I looked at YouTube. And I watched YouTube for like three or four days. Went, oh my gosh, this is so hard. And I finally said, okay, I'm going to do it. So I went to a local yarn shop that was in Oklahoma, Sweetie Ray's. If y'all ever get to Watonga, Oklahoma, Sweetie Ray's is the awesomest shop ever. Monday night is stitching, bitch. And they are the greatest group of ladies. Oh, and guys, there's a guy there too. Anyway, I, I went up there and I asked uh, Don, I said, I want to learn to crochet. Where do I go? What start? Where do I start? So I got a little small skein of acrylic yarn and an eye hook. And I sat down with YouTube and I was doing, it was hard. And I crocheted so tight that it was really bad. So I went Monday night to stitch them, bitch. And they rallied around me and showed me the way to do it. Since then, I've been flying. I mean, I can make a lot of things and um, I'm still learning. I'm still learning crochet. I don't have everything figured out, but I know enough. You know, well, I don't know enough. You're always learning. But, um, you know, that's, that's a thing that I'm, I'm working on. Um, and then I started quilting just recently. And that is extremely hard. Because um, you got to do it all perfect and measure and line up. And to me, that's hard. Because I can never cut my fabric straight. I don't know what it is. My crap, my quilts look like crap. And, um, some of them I've been proud of and I sold, you know, I, they have, I have them for sale on my site. I'll put my, my business page down there. I'm not asking none of y'all to buy it. I mean, I'm not, if y'all want to, that's fine. But I'm not going to ask y'all because, I mean, that's just, you know. But I'll put it down there for those that are interested to take a look. Um, so I started quilting and I like it, but it's very expensive. Quilting is so expensive. And I'm on a very fixed income. I'm now on Social Security Disability. I know it's hard to tell y'all that because it's the public. And people are going to look down on me. But some stuff happened in my life where I had to take the help when I could get it. I'm on food stamps. And again, that's something I'm not proud of. But I'm not one that abuses the system. Like food stamps, I go and buy generic everything. The lowest price, everything. I have seen things where people are buying steaks, lobsters, and shrimps, and stuff like that. No, I don't. I don't abuse the system like that. Um, you know, will I ever be able to get on my two feet and go back to work? They have told me I can't because of all the conditions going on that I won't be able to work. Um, I don't leave the house very often. I have social anxiety. This is, and this is my outlet, is, is YouTube, um, and Facebook. 
I'm a if y'all want to say hi to me on Facebook, you're more than welcome to. I will reply to you. Um, that's my outlet because I don't really deal with people. I'm just so scared of being hurt again that I really don't deal with people. Um, I would love to meet some of my YouTube people, some of my Facebook people. I would love to meet them, but I'm in Texas and everybody's not. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, this is kind of getting long, but if there's something you want to know, put it in the comment and I will answer it. And I mean, it's, or you can private message me. Either way, I'm very open. If you want to know something, if you want to know how to go about doing something, you know, with your with your daily struggle of, of mental health or crochet or quilt, let me know and I'll help discuss it. I don't mind at all. And if you need to private message me because you need some help, that's fine too. Let me know. Um, I'll put my my business page and my personal page down below and if y'all need anything holler at me uh, I appreciate y'all we had gotten to over 200 subscribers and I can't thank you enough for that I really do appreciate y'all each and every one of you thank you and have a good day